So finally, keeping time and scoring. So here on this side is a blank score sheet and you've got the four periods, 20 minutes, so there's 40 sections. As I said before, the yellows just indicate where the substitutions are. Got the home team away team and the four periods and the final score. On this side is a game that I've played and what I do is if a team score a goal, I put a mark at the top of their box. If they score a behind, I put a mark at the bottom of their box and at the end of the period, I just add them up for four goals, four behinds, gives us 28 points. And then in the second period of this game, Sydney only scored two behinds and so it's a cumulative four, six, and then one and five gives us five eleven, and two and zero gives us seven eleven, and that's how I keep the score on the score sheet. With the timing, you get, you move on every time you roll on the action card, or you do a centre bounce. So here, as you can see, the first thirty seconds we had a bounce. There was a rook. Sydney won it in midfield. It was then followed by seven. I put the number of the action down. Seven is a blast and the blast landed for lasted for five minutes. So I put a line all the way down. That's 10 sections. And then when we decide who lost and who won the challenge, Adelaide lost. Sydney won the challenge. So Adelaide rolled against the missed kick chart and they got a behind. Sydney scored a goal off their chance and then of course because the goal was the last thing scored we go back to a bounce and here Sydney won in the forward 50 which means that we must have rolled a blue one they took a kick and Hinkley actually scored a behind Adelaide then start from their own defensive 50 and they had a mark which failed so they were using the D20 rule. Adelaide won the ball back in a loose ball and they're in the D50. Then two, action two, which is the highlight reel. Sydney ended up in the forward 50 and so on and so forth. So in the second period, as you can see here, we had a ground blast which lasted one two three four five six minutes so it crossed this substitution line so complete the blast and then do the substitutions and at this point I would have looked for people like if they've got a four or a three or even a five star forward I would have taken him off here because he's only got that much time to use in his stint as being off the off the field. So that's just a, a bit of information for you if you're playing this game. It's not always don't always keep your best players on. If something like this happens, get them off because they're going to be off the field less. But yeah, everything goes. We've got a bounce, then a bounce, then a seven which is the ground the ground blast of four is a mark six would have been a uh, crash and so on and so forth so i can see what happened in the game and that is how i fill my score sheets out and keep the track of what happened in the game